Hi, I'm Jordan Jackson with Security Central, and today I'm going to help you understand how to change the battery in a self-contained Honeywell alarm system. So before we get into it, let me just share though, if you're a Security Central customer and you're already subscribing to our performance guarantee service, then you don't have to worry about this because we'll come do it for you proactively. But if you do need to replace the battery in your alarm system because it's telling you on your keypad or because one of our um, client care services representatives have called you to say that your battery needs to be replaced, here's what you need to know. So the first thing you need to do is determine, do you have what's called a self-contained or all-in-one alarm system, in which case the keypad where you turn the system on and off also is the main brain of the system and has the backup battery built into this unit. The other type of system is a remote keypad with the main brain being located in a metal enclosure that's usually located in a basement area or um, an, a closet or something like that that's out of the way because uh, it doesn't need to be accessed very often. Uh, but if you have an all-in-one self-contained system, a couple of the clues will be the size and appearance. The first thing being the depth of it. If it's more than an inch thick, there's a good chance that it's a self-contained unit because there's more electronics and a battery and that type of thing in uh, the unit. If it's thinner, less than an inch thick, it's probably a remote keypad and does not have a battery built into it. So this is an example of a Honeywell Lyric system. Uh, it does have all the electronics and the battery built into it. And so we're gonna talk about how to replace the battery in this unit, but other models such as the Lyric or the Pro Series are also similar uh, to this one. So the first step will be notify Security Central or your alarm monitoring company because when you open up the cover on this, it is going to generate a tamper signal and that signal will be sent to your monitoring center. Uh, so to avoid any uh, unnecessary phone calls or anything, give them a call, let them know that you'll be doing this uh, so they can put your account on test for a little bit. Once that has been done, you'll want to go ahead and open up the main unit. There are two tabs on the top of the unit that need to be pressed to open it up. It's most helpful if you can use a small screwdriver to press on them, and you do need to press kind of hard to get them to release. So when you press on one, and then on the other, the keypad will start beeping to indicate that it's being tampered with. And once it releases, you can hinge the front down like this, exposing the inner uh, electronics and the battery pack here. You can see the battery pack located here. There's a safety strap that holds it in place that you'll need to use a screwdriver to remove the screw that holds that strap in place. So you can then pull the battery pack out. You see the wires go down and connect in this little connector that you can unplug easily by just pulling on it. And that then frees that battery up that you can set it aside and get your new battery, plug it in. The plug only fits one way, so you uh, will always uh, be able to have proper polarity, of red and black, and then place the battery in its uh, holder there, put the safety strap over it, screw the screw back in to hold the strap in place, and once that's done, you can hinge the front cover back up and then give it a good firm push to snap it back into place. You will need to clear the display of the tamper, the cover tamper uh, display, by simply arming and disarming the system one time. And at that point, it should be back to showing normal and you'll have a fresh battery in there to support the system. Should you have a power outage, um, the system will continue to operate properly. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Security Central 303-721-0111 or securitycentralinc.com.